Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Monster Boy at the Cursed Kingdom. So, in our last video, we got the teleport rod, which is just, it's a broken item. Which is awesome, we want broken items. Okay. This, this sanctum has been around as long as Lubia itself. They say ancient heroes of old prayed inside to be blessed for their journeys. I wonder why it's been closed for so many years. Also, we can talk to the cat to get kind of hints about where to go. I mean, I know where to go, but... Wait, where is this cat? So weird hearing everything in stereo. What's this way? Oh yeah, the castle's this way, right? Yeah. You know, interesting question. Oh yeah, there's that's right, you can't go down there. We already tried that. Oh, one of the things we can do, I believe, to get a trophy. Oh, that's cool. Where's our house? I don't remember where our house is, but if you go back to your house, uh, there's a shop in there, and it's super cheap. But, uh, unregardless. Oh, here we go. I can't believe my whiskers! You found another orb! Now we're one step closer to saving my uncle and restoring everyone back to normal. What do the archives say about the next orb? Looks like you'll be venturing into the volcano northwest of the village. A volcano? But won't I get roasted alive in there? Only if you take a dip in the scorching hot lava. So watch your step in there. The archives say you can get there by climbing the old tower in the village, but I think there's more to it. I've read somewhere about calling the heroes of old to reveal the way, or something like that. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Heroes of old prayed in the sanctuary. We have the sanctuary key. It's all coming together. All right. Well, pretty obvious what we have to do here. I like how dropping down lands you on this in case you didn't notice you could stand on it. It's really great design. Alright, a sound long forgotten. Okay, so one of the best design jokes in this video game is coming up, and I love it. I just love it. But, uh, I think we have to get here from the windmill. This windmill is super required. We'll only have to do this once, so... All right.
The elevator music is one of the best things ever. <laughs> All right. Psst. Salut. I'm sure you're here to admire our very stunning ice equipment, we. What's so special about it? I'm not surprised you don't know. Ice gear is so hip, so avant-garde. To appreciate such craftsmanship requires a certain je ne sais quoi level of uh, how you say a class. <laughs> um, I still don't get why it's good. <laughs> like, how embarrassing for you. <laughs> Besides, looking magnifique. As equipment is very useful. Oh, besides looking magnifique, as equipment is very useful when exploring places that are extremely hot. You'd think everyone would buy it, but au contraire, most are too cheap and stingy. Sad, really. All right, so there's ice equipment here, and we're going to explore a volcano. Pretty obvious, right? So the first thing we want to do here, without a doubt is hit this thing so we never have to do the elevator puzzle again. Alright, so there are all the shops here. This is the village of Area. So yeah, there's like a blacksmith for upgrading grading stuff and like buy things. Let's see about this ice equipment. Oh, there's like a music sheet that'll be for sale here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, immunity against confusion for this armor. Um, wear this uh, wintry amulet to recover some health lost from an enemy strike by returning a quick counterattack. That's sold out. That's sold Oh, we already bought it. Um, forge from our crystals. This chili armor reduces all fire damage received. Perfect for hot, hot environments. And reflects fireballs and physical projectiles with this wreck. Okay, so um, this stuff is all pretty standard pricing. I mean, it's not. It's 500 bucks is about what we're paying for new, new things. But uh, the game has set up an infinite coin grind. So, we're going to take advantage of that, and that will be very soon. Now, there are some other things. There's, like, a magic shop and an inn. But what we want to do is go to the left. And right away, we want to fall. Oh, stupid clouds. Oh, right, we can't jump through clouds. That doesn't... I think... There we go. Alright, well that got us a power gem. But I think for this platforming section we'll probably need a double jumper. Not a sink. Actually. There we go. Thought they'd sneak that one by me, did they? Alright, well that one moves. Fantastic. Alright. So these are the cloud boots. Become light enough to walk on clouds and perform double jumps with these wonderful boots. They are wonderful boots. They are. Because we cannot progress in the game without them. So yeah, so now, boop, boop, there we go. We can walk on clouds. Boing. And that will allow us to do this next platforming session, section, but I would kind of like to heal my health because this next platforming section is can kind of be a bear. I believe we're going to do almost all of this section of the lion. It's We can't ever switch to the pig in this section. Um, or the snake, aside from places where the snake would be able to grab onto moss. And there will be enemies, so... Oh, well, we didn't make that jump. <laughs> Don't 
Don't even get me started on how much I hated this section in my first playthrough. Whoops. I don't think we were just supposed to take damage there, but... What are you gonna do? Oh, come on now! I mean, at least it checkpointed us there. There. Okay, when you drop off of here, you have to change in midair, otherwise you're in trouble. Oh, nonsense! Wow. Okay. So worth it to get rid of him. Trust me on that. If you get an opportunity to kill these guys, do it. <sighs> Horrible spider troll. That's so bad. Alright, so now, we have a checkpoint here, and then there'll be one bat. If you want to grind this bat for health, you can. You've just got to be good enough to not get hit by him and die. But, uh, that's not the point. The point is, is that... Oh, nice! What a great drop! That was perfect! That's the best health grind ever. So the way that this works is to get into the volcano, we have to downstrike here. But, um, you're going to go through the series of blocks with cool faces on that, with cool designs on them, and all the gold blocks in there... So there, all those gold blocks um, are coins. So one, I think it's one, two, three, and now we get over to the middle. And there we go, it's like $250, and then we just, we just stand here and we die. Yeah, we need the potion to die. And we checkpoint right back up here. With three hearts. We can just ignore the bat. It really doesn't matter. So the most consistent best way uh, I have found to do it is... One of the things you can do is go through there sideways. And I think you pick up one or two extra coins if you go through the full one sideways. But what you want to really pay attention to is after this one, there's three more where you need to be on the left. So there's the third one, and then you get over to the middle for the sword, because all of them are in the middle. And now we... Oh, we're gonna get the potion back every time? Oh, that's gross. Then I think what we actually want to do, maybe, is uh, damage off the bat enough to use the potion. And then checkpoint again. That might be smart. Unless we die, and then it's not smart at all. Okay. No! <laughs> I don't want your stupid potion, Bat! So this is clearly intentional, right? This is clearly set up as an intentional coin. And now the wonderful thing about this is when we get enough coins, we can actually just go back to the village and buy whatever we need with that wand we just got. One, oh, I mean one, two, three, middle. Perfect. 
That's what we want. Um, yeah, we can actually just, we can use the wand. Uh, well, let's just check it out. We'll go buy some stuff and then come back. Just to demonstrate what I'm going to do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind up to like 3,000 gold. Um, after spending what we have now. And that's what we'll have. Because there will still be gold as we play. There might be paths that get you more more money, um, but on some level, you you know you, you learn to prize uh, thoughtlessness over anything else. So if we do this, use the teleport rod. We can go back to the village of area. Go to this guy's shop. There we go. That's a thousand dollars worth of stuff down. And then if we go back over to the skies of area, we're back here. But make sure to checkpoint. And you can do this with the teleport rod. It doesn't matter what you're you're down swiping for. You average about. Uh, 250 every time. Yeah, we actually did 260 there. So, um, to get my grind to 3,000, I'm going to need to do that nine more times and so i'm gonna do that nine more times and then we're gonna pick up this video uh, after that and uh yeah we'll have everything we need to uh venture into the volcano and we'll see you guys for that bye everybody